morning guys, February 3rd, 2023. Maybe I got a call from a lady I've worked for in the past. I gotta go over to her parents' house and I guess there's an outside faucet that the shutoff's not working. We can buy, so she wants to change the shutoff and I think she said something about a faucet, something, something to do with a faucet somewhere. Uh, other than that, so. It's gonna be the helicopter type. It's gonna be the helicopter type. So we'll have to see what happens there. Hopefully I can get some footage. Hold out today, Molly. Yeah, it's supposed to drop into the um, teens tonight. 12, 13 degrees, something like that. So and tomorrow is gonna be the same thing, flipping cold, so. Saturday, I think the high tomorrow is gonna be like 15 degrees tomorrow all day, so. And then after Sunday, it warms back up into the 40s. So I've been getting, I've been getting a lot of calls for no heat, obviously. Oh, I work till 7:30 tonight. Can you come after that? No. They want their heat fixed, but they want to work till 7:30 tonight. Like lady, giving a flipping cold snap here. Pull your head out of your ass and get your heat fixed before you freeze to death. Oh, I work till 7.30 tonight. But I got no heat. Okay. Another dumb dumb. Anyway, we'll try to get you some shots. You try to fix things before they get broken, you know? Yeah. I mean, this thing was really loose. That's probably what it was. I'm, I, I tightened it by... Tightened it. Obviously. Packing. Yeah, see, the packing's loose. And we'll tighten it. We'll tighten it and we'll try it. And if it if it don't leak, we'll... Uh... Oh, that one is tight. I think it was just the hose. No, it's the packing. I can see it dripping. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, so we'll it. have to yeah. change that when we got the water off. He did tighten it too, huh? Yeah. Good now. No leaks. No more leaks. So I had to put a little bit more on it. Probably is just afraid to overdo it. Well, could be. Looks like it's dripping, but that might be from the other might have been from the other one. I mean, I got other ones in the truck. It's not a big deal to change it while I got it down. There is a gasket in there. They don't use the hot water all the time, but, you know. I just got to tighten it up. I mean, it's a big deal. Tighten it on, I can feel it. Do they even use the hot water on them? Rarely, but... Uh, probably not. I don't use mine. I don't use hot water. It's just a waste of money. It is. They, yeah. Now they make you don't need it. to work in cold water. Yeah, no, that's fine now. I just figured it was this. Had, this was really loose. This bottom one. So we're good I there. I figured if we had something that was really dirty and we had to wash it, they've got hot water. But on a regular <sighs> basis, we do not. Use yeah. So these hoses, like I said, you have to watch out because it's dripping now. Huh? Yeah, it's dripping now. Oh yeah. A couple of drips just came out of here. See. Well, I'll change it then. I'll put a brand new one on there. All right. Let's how's that sound. All right, we're gonna open this other one up. Let me shut the water off. So you can't you can't shut this one off at all. There's probably a gasket's gone in it. I'll take it apart. If I can't change the washer, we'll put a whole new one in there. Okay. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Sounds like a good plan. Hey, yeah, you still have your little dog. What about her? You still have her. Oh yeah, I got a new one now. Um, uh, I had her now. Uh, Miss Molly. Yeah. Uh, my little buddy. She yeah, she's me. with me. She's with me in the truck. I got her today. Why don't you go upstairs and open up all the faucets and leave them open? Okay. Open up all, all the faucets and leave them open. The kitchen, the bath. All of them. Just open up every open up every faucet and leave it open. We got a sink right there. We could drain. I gotta change this anyway. She wants to change. We'll change it. Oh, she 
He's on there. He's on there. washing gets hard like that it doesn't really give and it doesn't you know, right it doesn't it's not seat. doing you no favors put it that way so let's try that love your just, new truck oh yeah so much better fun the other one was just passes passes age and I couldn't get parts for it it was such a flipping money pit and every yeah. two weeks it was breaking yeah you're gonna cut you know at that point. I, 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 yeah, I mean it was just too continuous continuous issues you know even 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 the mechanic was like this flipping thing's a piece of shit get rid of it, of working on it. <laughs> yeah it's like he was even even he was saying it you know it's like and you can't get parts for it you're hunting all over the country parts are no longer available doesn't that suck and then you need it for your business. It's not well, like you know what it is. I got so much, so so much work to switch over. You know all the bends and everything. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll try that. I'm gonna see if that works. Should. It should work. I mean, in a pack and not obviously you could tighten that up there. And I got another one. I'm gonna change that other valve. If that. If that don't work now, we'll have to uh, replace it, okay? Yep. We'll try it. With this cold weather coming, he's afraid <sighs> of having a problem. All right, we'll try that. Uh, days, because we can't leave her alone. Oh, I've been staying here, yeah. yeah. And he's in the hospital, so he is her, a caretaker. He watches her, makes sure she doesn't go out of the house. And, but when he's not here, she definitely can't be alone. So anyway, the lady, the 92-year-old ladies, complaining about their taking a license. After I hear the story, I says, well, I don't blame them. You know, you're, you're driving, out, you're driving outside safety. for her safety. She's 90. She can't even walk. She's got canes on each hand. The poor thing. Yeah. I mean, she's got her wits about her. Yeah, you but know? still, you know, it's If you eight, can't find your way home and you call the cops, or guess, and you're 90, over 92, guess what they're going to do? They're going to pull your license. What the hell is she doing out at night? To be safe, just for her safety, right? And the thing is, what if she broke down, she ran out of gas, and she, it's cold out, and she couldn't call 911? You know, she'd freeze to death. She actually didn't call anybody. She was waiting on the street, and somebody stopped. Oh. So that's even worse, right? And, and she, uh, yeah. that's that's the story she was telling me. I felt bad for the old lady. But. Yeah, but you know, so you just have to say, it's you could hurt somebody else, you could hurt yourself, and she doesn't belong at, out at night doing anything. My parents stopped driving. Yeah, she said she ago. said she made a mistake by going out, and I said, "Yeah, the mistake you made. You're not finding your way home. That's the mistake you made." Because if she doesn't generally drive at night, her eyesight isn't going to be as good. She had all the wits about her. Be honest with you, she's you know going on and on and on and on, and it's like, oh, she, at first I thought she had dementia, but then after I dealt with her for a while, it's like. Yeah, but dementia's she, funny. She's smart. She's smart as a flipping whip, the old lady. You know, you know? dementia's funny. Then hey, wow, that thing's on there. They'll get clear, the big... and then they'll be very confused. It isn't consistent, you know? Really? Yeah. Wow, things on there. We'll just put a new one on there for you, right? And I'll even give you... See, yeah, this one's giving us issues. She didn't go to the bar, did she? No. 
She went food shopping or something crazy shit like that. She said she ain't gonna go to no bar. Doesn't she have all day to do food shopping? She used to order it from Stop and Shop. They'll deliver it. I don't think. Whoa, she used to order it from Stop and Shop. I wanted to admit made her forget about that. Yeah, she would order it from Stop and Shop. Yeah, she would order it from Stop and Shop. Yeah, she would order it from Stop and Shop. Looking for a new husband. <laughs> Who needs that? Uh -huh. Who needs that at 92? Yeah. Just the opposite, right? <laughs> That's funny. So your husband finally retired. Well, yeah. Good for him. Yeah, work was really becoming really horrible. A lot of political stuff going on and yeah. He just said, you know what? I had enough. His sister just passed away, surprisingly. And I think he thinks, you know, life's too short. Yeah, you you got that right. Yeah. You think it's uh His sister was caring for her husband. I gotta go check on her. Alright, I wanna go turn the water on and we'll check it, but I'm thinking it's gonna be fine now. We're starting to think it has something to do with the... Uh, Alright, you gotta go shut, turn all the faucets off upstairs, yeah. Make sure you got everything off upstairs, right? I do. <clears throat> Should I turn the outside one? Yeah, on? go ahead, go try it. Yeah, we'll put a new one in there for. Yeah, it's off. Okay. This is off and these aren't leaking, okay? So I shut them both off. Like I said, keep an eye on these hoses, all yeah, right? I, I don't think that they're, they look fine to me, but every couple of years they should be changed. Either that go no burst. Yeah, all right, so we're leaving this off for now, right? Yes. Yeah. And it's not dripping, so that's good. All right. So there's no, there was no water that came out, so whatever water that was there, yeah, so this was just hard, hard as a rock. Yeah. Can't, you know, so I put a new flexible one in there. That's all we needed. 